Hello, and welcome back to In the Studio with Las Castellanos. Uh, thank you for coming back, and thank you for uh, watching. This is the second time I try this composition. Already you can see that I'm doing everything different. Well, not everything, but the um, there's an initial green wash on there, which makes it a lot easier to see. You know, and sometimes what happens is... Um, you know, we all have this, a similar method to in, in which we start. And I think um, when I first started to paint, when I first learned to to paint, I didn't know how to start. Every every time I started painting, it was different. Um, now I've I've worked in, on enough paintings that I start in a similar manner, and so it's it's kind of easier to change things if they go wrong. I know what can go wrong uh, because of the amount of, of, of paintings that I've done. You know, so after after like a, a couple hundred paintings that you do, the, uh, if something's not working, then you say to yourself, oh, okay, you know, this is, this wasn't so, so successful, I need to, I need to change this. But in order for that to happen, you have to, you know, you have to work up to, a, uh, um, you know, you have to have you have to know how you start a painting. Uh, you know, and the same thing goes for for uh, you know uh, uh, the, the you know middle of a painting or, or, or finishing a painting. Um, the um, so notice just quickly I'm establishing some of the some of the color, uh, some of the local color, reestablishing some of the background color. Uh, the background color was. Uh, the, the on the still life it was a green cloth so starting with a with a green wash was you know was was good this time around um, because it's just a lot easier to apply the you know the background in there and also it brings a nice contrast to the still life to the to the orange uh, to this pale orange against against the green now one of the things is this video is a little dark. I'm still getting used to some of the uh, the setup of this new of the new video equipment, and so I have to I have to fix that. So you have to excuse me for that. And I will. You'll notice at the end of the video I'll put up um, I'll put up a finished painting or or the finished painting, and you'll notice how much how much brighter the painting is. It's it's um, it's actually quite a bit um, quite a bit of a difference. Um, and the uh, so reestablishing the shadows now. One also, and I will talk about this later, is that you'll notice that the my compositions are, are a little too dark right now. You know, so again, going back to the things that you want to change, I am I think I'm going to be adding a little more light to the still life. I usually get to paint when everybody's asleep, so that way nobody bothers me. Um, uh, so the you know I use incandescent lights and it becomes uh, too contrast. There's there's a little too much contrast for my light, um, and I think uh, we're gonna we're gonna be working that uh, in the next couple of days. Um, I just wanted to uh, before we continue here, I want to give a shout out to my friend Nick. Nick is uh, Nick is a young filmmaker and writer, and I want to I will give you his his uh, YouTube um, address at the end of the, of the video here. Um, he does some really cool stuff and I've gotten to know Nick in the past couple of years and he's uh, a terrific kid. So hopefully you'll enjoy his movies. He's a funny kid too. Um, and I, I, I promised him that I would, I would mention his name for, for quite a while now and I, and I never have. So uh, this one's for you, Nick. Uh, all right, so let's go back in here. Notice how, how bright that orange is, and I do not keep the bright orange. I just use it as a as an accent, just as a as a way to guide me through the rest of the painting, and uh, it becomes a little easier to notice everything else. You know, once I have something bright that bright in there, then I notice uh, how dark something next to it. Uh, so we'll we'll go back in there and tweak the dark uh, and just. Towards the end there. Um, 
I also want to thank the people that came out to the workshop on Sunday at the library. It was successful, my Young Artist series. Uh, you know, there's no better time to start uh, to learn how to paint and draw than at, at a young age. It's, um, it's great. It was great seeing you guys. Thank you. Uh, we made we made some comic books and we, we got our imaginations going and we learned about the mind's eye, which is an important tool for any artist of any age. Uh, and so I am looking forward to next uh, next class in which we're going to be talking about Leonardo da Vinci and the Renaissance. Uh, so that's going to be really cool. That's very exciting. We might even get to do a little tempera painting. Um, you know, with real egg, egg temper. Um, so let's let's go back here. Let's see where we are with the painting. Uh, so I'm reestablishing some of the background tones. Again, it was a, you know, somewhat easy because of, uh, not easy, but it was, um, the background really lent itself, the background color really lent itself to, to the painting. Um, because I, I, did a, I did a wash, initially a green wash. Uh, so that was good. Just adding some lights and just playing with the overall tone of the background. Um, again, you'll notice now, uh, also you, you'll see here soon, in the, there we go, in the, in the dark area of the shadow, uh, I start getting involved with some of the detail. Uh, because there is detail, it, it catches the light a little bit. And, uh, you know, painting detail is nice, but you really got to, you, you got to paint the detail in, in a subtractive way. Uh, you can't paint the detail in, rather you, you kind of have to bring it out, if that makes sense. Uh, and I'm doing the, I'm, I'm doing the opposite here. I'm just putting in the detail and, and I'm not happy with it. I, I don't like the way it's coming out. And I need to, and I want to fix it. So here I am painting all the detail, and I actually I take a break, and I come back to the painting. I notice how how unsuccessful the detail is, and uh, you know although I keep at it, and and I just wipe it out and start the and start the process again. You know, never be afraid of, of restarting an area. But in order for, that, for in order to restart an area, you really have to you know you really have to go in and and repaint it. You know, don't just don't just go in and like, change a few things. You really have to repaint it. Uh, so anyway, so I am now retweaking some of the shadow area as well. The shadow area. You know, my compositions are kind of dark. I'm gonna have to fix that as well. Uh, not not fix, but I I want to change it a little bit. It gives. Uh, uh, you know the paintings are, are a little somber, and I want to create. I want to start creating a different mood. Um, although sometimes you can't change that. You know, the way. The not that not that you can't change it, but it's. You know, you see something, and as an artist, you are the filter for what you're seeing, and so then it comes out, um, and wh whatever you're seeing or whatever you're your painting filters through your experiences um, you know so then then it comes out so plus you know whatever training you've had uh, but anyway maybe we'll leave that for next time or for my uh, session with a therapist uh, and here we go we're finishing up here we're putting up some of the lights and you'll notice that you know again I apologize for the darkness of the video we're going to have to get that done. All right, so till next time. Um, have a good time and have a happy painting. Does that make sense? Have a happy painting? All right, I'm going to have to come up with a different ending. And what, what the hell is that beeping?